This is now the third day of the game jam, making a 3D game for the 3D game jam for GDevelop. And you can tell that this whole scene is completely different. I did a little bit off camera, such as uh, turn the hand entirely white so it doesn't look like a human, a human's hand. Well, it still does because the shaping and all that, but it's like, it's just white with like some shading on it. Of course, it plays the animation weirdly. If you sprint backwards or just walk backwards, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. There's things I gotta tweak with like the hand still. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't look bad. I might want to simplify it though still. Might give it a rework. That's later on my to-do list. But, oh yeah, first off, I totally forgot to show you. There's a grass texture now, I made it really quickly. So my plan for today is to add 3D grass, whether whether that is billboard textures or 3D modeling or mix of both for performance. There's gonna be a way to have 3D grass plastered all around you all the way if you have super high-end system or you can have it so that after a set distance, it'll, uh, instead of having the 3D grass, it'll, after the distance, have the billboard textures, or you could just do all billboard textures, or you could do no grass whatsoever. That's one of my tasks for today. But, the biggest change I have for you today is, lies on these huge fat boxes. I need to show you, put, put these down. Um, now, why do these cars suddenly look so clean, you might ask? Why, why do they look like real vehicles that were not in car accidents or collisions such as this one? Uh, <laughs> so if you remember from my last video, I made this model, model in like some amount of time, and I'm not good with Blender, but my friend, my legendary talented friend who I've been friends with for like a decade and some, a real life friend, I, I went to him a after the recording was finished, and I was like, yo, w would it be cool if, like, you made car model and yay? And then, yeah, so we kind of started doing that. And I sat in a voice chat with him, I was showing him my game and everything, and I showed him this model. And my gosh, we both burst out laughing, because look, 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 look. Kind of looks like a maple leaf, doesn't it? So <laughs> look, at, look at the tires, they're misaligned and everything. Uh, but yeah, look how clean this... I watched him model the whole thing, it's so clean. So, you probably don't understand what I'm going to be doing with these vehicles still. And I'm going to keep it a surprise. All I'm going to tell you is that this game is going to be a first person puzzle game where you have to manipulate traffic to get the blue car from point A to point B without any interruptions from the red cars. And uh, how I'm going to make that is all up to your imagination eh, and mine because I'm making it and everything. But yeah, these cars look absolutely fantabulous, and also you can go inside the model still, but yeah. It's even got a keyhole and everything. It is insane. Okay, I'm just gonna fix up the hands now. They need to, as mentioned before, get tweaked a lot. Okay, so the sprinting animation doesn't... Play. It plays the walking animation sprinting backwards. Now I'm just gonna make the hands kind of move towards its actual, actual like, angle of travel. It'll take a little moment. And that's the rest of dealing with the angle variables. Now the hands kind of point towards the direction of travel. Even going backwards. It adds a lot to the immersion actually. Instead of, instead of billboard textures for the grass, what if I just use different layers of a same grass texture? So I sample off of this image and take a couple of the, the green tints and sparkle on it again. Maybe sparkle it like that? No, no. Okay, that that's a decent sparkle to test with. Yeah, that let's try that. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to move this layer object. Elevation, I'm pretty sure all these grass objects are set to have the elevation of 100 or negative 100 because it's 100 high, so elevation, no, the depth is all I need to use. Let's go 5 depth. 
Oh, whoops, I forgot to place the camera and everything down, so it's just gonna be doing this. Okay, that grass is way too high, uh-huh. Yeah, that looks nice with the grass. Dare I add another layer? That looks nice. I wonder how it's doing performance-wise. I'm pretty sure GDevelop also only, only uses one CPU core. Uh, yep. CPU core number two. It's core zero, one, two. Now I should make the um, the grass layering done automatically so I don't have to place it in the scene every single time. I just have external events which are supposed to track and readjust the game's visual quality every single time this external event cheat is called based on the user's input. For e each instance of this grass it's going to create Grass layer 1, X position, of course, grass.x. And then grass layer 1, Z. Okay, so it built it. There you go. So then, that means if I am able to make a button to, to call for this action again, bring, let's, let's say I change the value to something else. So here's gonna be lower graphics quality. No gra no grass layering. Then width. I think I like this. It's just you can see when I look up like this, the grass kinda looks funny. Okay, it's about time I have a a debug UI, I'm gonna call it DUI like I do all the time. Fonts, 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 fonts. I have a font that I bought. It is the same font to use in my favorite game at the moment, Un uh, Endling Extinction is Forever. Oh yeah, the size. 100 maybe? Okay, still achieving my maximum frame rate, 144, with all this grass. Oh, what was that? There was a yellow line over there for some reason. I look up like this. They're like inverted. I don't know why it does that. So remember, this is still not the third time I'm recording this. Remember the um, the time I was uh, showing off the cool car models and everything, and and then I mentioned a friend of mine. Uh, well, I'm here talking to that friend. Here he is, uh, Heat Sonic. Welcome to the team. Hello. Yes, you're being very welcomed right now by the. Anyway, yeah, so you can see Thank a you. screenshot on the bottom left. Look at that, it's the car model. Things are being edited on. Please, you right? Yeah, this is cool. welcome to the team. <laughs> so, yeah, you may team up with up to four people, so now we're a team of two, I guess. Yay. Submissions. This submission exists over here. If I try to play it, though, it doesn't exist, so L. This is a really simple car. <laughs> Simple. As I look at this now, it's, simple, it's quite simple. Simple yet intuitive, the way I see it. I mean, look how many polygons it's actually using. I'm making a new scene where it's just your screen share, so I can zoom in on it in any moment. Yeah. Yay! You get presentation. Yay! Why? Why is? Why is the origin origin to geometry? Geometry. Origin dash. To Geometry. This is so that they can rotate properly. That probably would, you know, that probably have caused you issues later on. What? Because now you can rotate. Yeah, the G, the origin was at like the center, so if you tried to rotate, it would be a little bit weird when you like oh, rotate it this yeah. way. True. Speaking of which, rotation. what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't oh care. dear. Oh dear. The license plate. What happened? <laughs> oh no. Dude, oh no. I was just lasso selecting. 
you know, let's let's fix up your texture real quick, man. If you if people are watching your stream cons my stream constantly, they're gonna see that I have anime in the side. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 I have it focused on it right now. Oh, that's lovely. Special. I yeah. definitely feel special and not at all an invasion of my private. <laughs> <laughs> invasion of private. You know, I can edit. I hate what I'm doing, and I should give up. Uh. I'm giving up. Why are you giving up? Because it's terrible and it doesn't even look like anything. Holy. Uh, okay. Well, I just did a six subdivide. Um. to chew five gum. Yeah, this is Go, go. And now it's 63. <laughs> Hit one or whatever. Yeah. At the frame rate counter. <laughs> Instant swap between 70 and 140. Man, what are the materials that this road and grass is made out of? I don't know, but I just see spark. I see. <laughs> 